get no rest No, no I've been down so long That my mind can't get no rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail Good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Doing my beach walk and talk today. It's getting boring to talk about Bitcoin price, so maybe we should talk about a little bit else now that I'm in Thailand. But let's see. I'm gonna try to make a cool video. I have nothing in my head yet. It will pop up any second soon, I think, during my walk here on the beach. And hopefully it will be the content that you are expecting from me on the beach. Now guys, um, we are in Thailand now for almost two months, really enjoying it. We arrived the 14th of November. Um, we are going to ascend, we are going to extend it a little bit longer. I am filming today guys with the DJI with an extension rod. This one is like automatically stable and all that stuff. I don't know how the sound is. I still don't have a mic for this one. I do have mics for my telephone now, but still not for this one. So it's not windy, so I thought let's test this one today because the other one is filtering already the beautiful sound of the uh, waves. And I don't want that. I want you to hear the beautiful sound of the waves and feel what I'm feeling at the moment here in Thailand, the happiness. Um, guys, uh, yeah, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Now, Bitcoin at the moment, um, not really exciting. We are uh, 17,500 um, people still waiting for the 12K or 10K bottom. I already said a few times before in videos, I really don't see that happening. For me, that 15,600 was kind of a bottom, and we would go up a little bit and then sideways. There will be, of course, a resistance. Uh, the resistance is seen on the weekly chart. There is a downward dotted white line and that comes all the way from the top of 2021, all the way through the bear market to today. And that line, if we meet that line, I think it's around 20K, if we meet that line, again, we could fall a little bit lower. So at that point, we create a, um, a lower high after a lower low, and then it becomes exciting. If we're gonna break that level and create a new higher high, that would be a reversal of the market. If not, we could go lower, but again, I'm not expecting 12K or these kind of levels, my opinion. So when it comes to Bitcoin, uh, still doing the same stuff, guys. I'm still accumulating every day. If I earn US dollar tether or whatever other cryptocurrency, I'm converting it to Bitcoin. Uh, this for me is the accumulation phase because I saw a huge capitulation of the miners of like more than 200 days. And that is mostly the moment that we should be starting to buy Bitcoin, guys. And those moments when you start to buy Bitcoin, I will sit here on this beautiful, look, I have, I, have, I found a swing. Look, a beautiful swing on the beach. <laughs> Um, those phases that the Bitcoin is bottoming out down in those lakes, those are the phases that you should be buying Bitcoin, guys. And uh, whenever you buy, if it is like at 17K or 15K or 16K or maybe even 12K, whatever you think, uh, all those buys will turn into profit when Bitcoin goes into the new bull run and will create a new all-time high above 70K. So uh, that is my philosophy. Keep buying Bitcoin dollar cost average. Now, um, is there any other project that I'm interested in? Yes, at the moment there is. A couple of months ago, uh, this project calls me um, to bring their project to my attention. It was called Tap Global. And they were like, Didi, it's like the same with Crypto.com, but then 10 times better. <laughs> uh, we are going to improve everything that they did wrong. At that moment, um, okay, I, I dug into it and I'm like, okay, very uh, cool. It's the same what Casta is doing, what Crypto.com is doing. So yes, it could be a very uh, helpful tool for me and my family to travel uh, solely using cryptocurrency bankless because we don't have bank accounts already for five years, as you know, but we do use uh, Crypto.com, for example. And Crypto.com allows us as well to exchange uh, Bitcoins or US dollar terror or, or any other stable call into a debit card and then use that debit card on places where we don't accept Bitcoin. 
tap global is kind of the same so like a couple of days ago um, i sent one ethereum to the tap global app in that app i bought around 500k um tap uh, 500k xtp tokens and that was like for 1200 dollar xtp tokens and yesterday i opened up that app and um, i think it was like almost 4400 dollars so Yes, there was a huge increase in price. I think I bought at 0.002 and then it was 0.08 or 9 even yesterday. So then I took those profits and put them on the Tap Global debit card. And from that debit card, I booked some tickets for the children because they want to fly to Greece somewhere in the summer. So I'm not going to say which location because you wouldn't be losing your mind as a parent. I'm like, okay, let them have their party as well. So we booked the tickets with the debit card. It worked perfectly. So all in one app. So I can send my crypto there. I can trade my crypto there. I can take my profits. I can put them on the card. And I can pay with my card all over the world where MasterCard is accepted. Because this is a MasterCard. Really cool project. If you want to uh, know more about them, uh, click the link down below. Because if you click my link, uh, you get an extra bonus and you get $1 of Bitcoin and all that other stuff. So do click that link down below. Now, um, if we look at Ethereum, also doing really nice $1,300. So all cryptos are becoming a little bit more bullish. Again, I don't want you to think that this is the real new bull run because I don't believe it is. I believe we will be going sideways. So that will mean up and a little bit down and a little bit up and a little bit down uh, through the first part of this 2023 and from the summer on i think july august we will start to build up tension to that halving in 2024 at least that is how it normally goes now i was asked many times in the last couple of videos and lives and uh, twitter posts that i did did he how expensive is the life in thailand because i told you guys flexibility is the new stability and we are moving to Thailand to save our Bitcoins. Because if there is a huge inflation in Europe, life will become more expensive over there. So if we want to huddle as much as possible Bitcoins, we should go to a country where the life is less expensive. So we chose Thailand because we believe that the life is like almost four times more cheap than uh, Europe. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. And then you can decide yourself if you want to spend some time in Thailand or not. So, Thailand is a very beautiful country, it's a kingdom. And in Thailand they have the Thai Bat. The Thai Bat is pretty stable. If you look at the last 20 years, it's always around uh, 30 Thai Bat to the year or something like that. Now, is the life really cheap here? I need to be very honest. Thailand is a big country, though it is also small when you want to travel. But Phuket, for example, is a little bit more expensive than Koh Samui or Koh Phangan. Bangkok, of course, is way more cheaper. The north, Chiang Mai, I think is the cheapest of all. So you can determine yourself how expensive this trip will be for you guys. Can you still live off a budget of $20, $30 a day? Yes, you can. Can you live off a budget of $1,000 a day? Yes, you can. It is all up to you um, how much you're gonna spend here in Thailand. However you do it, you need to compare it, of course, with the right situation. So if you want to live here in a huge kick-ass villa, you need to compare that with a huge kick-ass villa, uh, for example, in Ibiza or Mallorca. I'm comparing Phuket now. So you cannot compare a small, normal townhouse of Ibiza with a beach villa in Phuket. You need to compare apples with apples and not apples with pears. Now for me, Thailand has always been one of the cheapest countries to be living life. At the moment, because there is a huge invasion of uh, Russian people that are escaping the war uh, of, of Russia between Russia and Ukraine, um, they all want to live here now. They don't want to be in a situation where there's war. So the housing at the moment is a little bit of a problem. So I think the housing is too expensive. But still, you can choose to live cheap or expensive. A villa that we have now, that's like a five bedroom villa with a huge garden, with a huge pool, you know, you, you saw it in, all, in the other, other videos. If, didn't, if you didn't see it, it's such a video that we give you the house tour with Jessa together. But a, a villa like this can easily go up to five, six, seven K per month. So that's a lot of Bitcoins that you would be losing there. But on the other hand, there's also normal local townhouses with four bedrooms, a community pool, 
uh, like it's not like a Thai style, but still European style houses that go for 30,000 baht to 50,000 baht, which would be between 800 and 1500 US dollar per month. So the house at the moment, not that cheap. In Phuket, other parts of Thailand, I think the housing is way cheaper. Um, for example, my sister and brother, they are now for two weeks to the islands. They are, went to Koh Lanta. And, and in Koh Lanta, they are staying in a hotel with a beautiful pool on the beach and everything. And I think it's about $1,500 per month to have a hotel room with four beds on the beach at the pool, blah, blah, blah. So it's $1,500 a month. Now, that is not where you're gonna save the most money. The most money that you're gonna save is on food. But also the food, you can do it two ways. The expensive way and the cheap way. I'm gonna turn around. I think that the light will be better because the sun starts to shine now. So the food, a pad thai, for example, a local Thai dish, which is a sort of a pasta, but then with chicken and vegetables, a little bit and everything, is still about 80 to 120 baht. So 80 baht is around two dollars, and 120 baht is around three and a half to four dollars. So that would be your main dish would be costing around four dollars. If you're with five, five people, it would be twenty dollars an evening. And that is like not the cheapest one. There is even more cheap food like uh, fried rice chicken, for example. That's 50 baht to 80 baht. And if you want to do a McDonald's, of course the McDonald's. A happy meal or something like that it's still only seven dollars here it's not like fifteen dollars like in europe only now so uh, you can also eat very luxury you can also eat uh, if, for example a beautiful restaurant here or catch or eden you can have a, a, a beef steak a beef steak will cost you at least 400 thai baht three to four thai so 400 thai baht is already like 13 dollars so you can make it as cheap or expensive like you want. So the groceries at the store, if you buy Thai stuff, it's cheap. If you buy import European stuff, it's more expensive. You can live the way you want in Thailand, and that is why I really like it. You determine how much cost you will have. To have a, an apartment or a hotel room for 50 bucks a day, yes, it's possible. Can you eat for 20 bucks a day? Yes, it's possible. A motorbike will be around five bucks a day and you have transport. So in total, that would be like not even 75 bucks a day. You can live an easily life in Thailand. And that is including the drinks, of course, because you will be drinking in Thailand. And that would mean in a month, that would be 2,000 to 2,500 uh, to live your life. So is a cheap life in, in Thailand still possible, guys? That's the question. In my opinion, yes. In my opinion, you can still book uh, very cheap rooms, you can still eat the cheap food, you can still uh, take the, the bikes, which are only like a, a few bucks a day, five, six bucks a day, if you do a good negotiation. Uh, and that's a very important thing in Thailand, of course. You need to negotiate. They will ask you a lot, but you can tell them, I want to pay only 25% of that. At the end, you will be paying around 40% of the price that they will be asking. Housing, food, all the stuff. So yes, Thailand is still uh, cheap and you can still live a beautiful life here and yes the most important part it's very beautiful because we still have these amazing views guys still these amazing views all over the place you can do your beach walks in the morning it's very early now and enjoy all of this nature they broke down a lot of here because here they are building uh, they are going to build all these kinds of new beach bars look but they even still have their um, these beautiful Thai structures here on the beach, which shows you that they are still, like, still cultural. There's still a lot of cultural stuff to do in the Thailand. You can still visit a lot of temples. There's a lot of to do in Phuket. Phuket is like fully uh, with adv adventure for uh, the family. So that's why we uh, chose Phuket at the moment, because the kids grow up. Uh, they want to go to a bar and to a discotheque and to a shopping mall but also visit uh, the water parks or you know visit the temple or go with us on a beautiful trip to the monkey hill so they want more diversity in their life you know they're 17 15 and 12 soon older 
if you want to do the boat trips and everything it's all still really affordable right it's like 25 bucks and you have a day boat trip all over the beautiful sea here to beautiful islands beautiful beaches if you pay a little bit more you get inclusive lunch and all this stuff so it's still a country that, that everybody is able to live in uh, no matter what they earn and like we are digital nomads so we earn a line so we have a little bit bigger budget because of our bitcoins but also people that have a smaller budget uh, are able to live life beautiful here but luckily they cancelled the whole vaccination requirement again and they announced that they would do that so we need to do a ball run which meant if we do a ball run to extend your visa you go over the border of thailand to malaysia and back then we would have been needed to show uh, proof of vaccination of a double jab as you all know we are not jabbed and we will never be jabbed we don't want to die so that was a little bit of a problem but two days later that they announced it they already took it back they're like no 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 we're not going to do it everybody is welcome in thailand again of course everyone is welcome in thailand again because they understand that it's just a flu and uh, everybody has uh, herd immunity by now after two years of vaccinations and having the flu and all that stuff so uh, we do need to do a border run soon and then extend the visa with 75 more days so we then can stay till the mid of april and we will probably stay till the mid of april um, the people that are filming the documentary are arriving the first week of february they're going to film 10 days with us here in thailand um, to show where it all started and what we are doing at the moment probably switching house very soon um, we found another beautiful house a little bit more modern but really cool high-tech tools and uh, that, that that i like and the kids probably also like but you will see that tour uh, soon if we uh, take that house do i have anything else to say guys i think it's very important for you to understand that the whole blockchain industry and the bear market is still building we keep building and the more we build and the more adoption there will be in the future the higher all these prices of all these tokens and bitcoin uh, will go because be aware this industry is not stopping it's not ending because ftx collapsed it's not ending because of the sales you said it's not ending because countries and newspapers tell you ah it's going to go to zero if you and me still believe in bitcoin the revolution the decentralization of the world because of other beautiful projects that are being built on the blockchain technology it won't go anywhere but forward and that's exactly how it went with the internet they did the same over there they trashed it they crashed it they wanted no one to know about it and use it in the end they depend on it same with this bitcoin and blockchain they will crash it they will trash it they will nobody want to know about it they want nobody to use it they want nobody to buy it they want nobody to hold it in the end everyone will be using holding it in any kind of way possible my way is non-kyc that is why i always use non-custodial cold wallets i trade these on decentralized exchanges i sold you i told you guys and i'm very i'm a big fan of apex apex is one of the decentralized exchanges that also gives me the option to use leverage a leverage up to 30 and i like to trade with leverage now and then also gives you the opportunity to hold your bitcoins in your own wallet while trading which is the most important thing guys don't put them on centralized exchanges anymore that can bankrupt you you see what is happening to ftx you see and you read all the news now about huobi we don't know we don't know what is going to happen the safest is a non-custodial cold wallet that you have full custody and control on and you connect that one to a decentralized exchange to trade i don't know anymore what else to talk about today uh, i just w I woke up and i just went on the beach to talk um, again don't worry about bitcoin always zoom out in bitcoin look at the bigger picture there will be a bull market you should be buying this bear market and uh, zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is what life is really about you shouldn't be freaking about your capital you should be freaking of your precious time because time you can never buy back and capital you can always make if you put some effort in it so time is one of the most precious things that you should be worrying about spend your time wise spend your time in a way that you want to spend your time because i think life is all about that and maybe you can do the same with your whole family maybe you can understand why we don't educate our children anymore with the traditional school system we don't believe in that system anymore why not because we believe that the artificial intelligence for example is going to take over uh, that 
factor of memorizing books that everybody thinks that makes them smart. So just look back 1500 years in time. We needed strong people that could lift and carry and do all the hard work. And then the machinery came and strong people were not needed anymore. Now we need people that can memorize books and get high certificates because they can memorize books and all that stuff. AI is going to make all those people not needed anymore. My telephone is smarter than those people that can memorize books. So for me, this is a new revolution that the internet did to knowledge is the blockchain doing to money. So you should become part of that and prepare your kids for the future. Because the combination, guys, of blockchain, Bitcoin, AI is going to change our world no matter what. If you want it or not, it's going to change. It's already changed our world completely. And we can't even predict how much it will change it in the future. If we don't know one thing, it will change the whole future. So you should prepare your children for that. And if AI is taking over the talent of memorizing books, your kids should be focusing on new skills that they would be needing in that new future instead of the old skills of memorizing books. Let's be honest, our telephones are smarter than some people. You can teach kid children to calculate, but Siri will do it faster. And if you look now at that chat GPT bot, what that already can do, what normal employees that memorize books could do, to write a paper, for example, about Bitcoin, chat GPT does it already faster, no errors, beautiful structure, you can add it, you can add stuff, you can get rid of stuff. It already is better than most employees because they would take half a day to do that. Chat GPT does it in 10 seconds and that's just the beginning. So prepare your kids for that, that's my tip. Now I hope you really enjoyed all the content of the day. Um, if you did like the video then give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about these charts that I share with you? What do you think about the Bitcoin information? What do you think about the live information? And also let me know what do you think about the sound quality of this camera and of course also of the video quality because I'm still doubting to film more with this one or not. Thank you for watching. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bam.